Nestless. Yes, Ness and Mustard. Ness, Twilight from Jason. Oh, let's go. Let's this is going to be started. a very interesting set. I can already tell. I think it's because of, um, you know, how, um, MK Leo, that we've been seeing a lot more people play Byleth, which is pretty interesting because I think that Byleth has so much more untapped potential that we just never really see, especially on a very local level. So I'm very glad to see that Jason is playing Byleth. And already with Mustard putting on 60%, it's kind of controlling neutral, which is a lot of the, you know, hitboxes that Ness can tend to put out. We're not gonna put, not gonna hit anything with that left guard right there, but gonna try and send Jason right back off stage, just keeping Jason off the stage pretty well, and gonna get that up smash. Not gonna kill just entirely yet. However, this is a little bit scary for Jason because they are on the verge of losing to um, their first stock, just like that back throw right there, taking off their first stock. And honestly, this is looking really well for Mustard. You know. It, this is a very, really good showing, especially considering how they only have 30% on them, 44% now, but very good, nonetheless. Sorry, I'm not talking right now. I am busy housekeeping, but I agree with everything you said. <laughs> um, for sure, thank you for agreeing with me. It's very nice. Um, you know, honestly, I really like how a lot of just the time that, you know, Mustard has been kind of just following up off of just whatever he has, getting the normal bread and butter that Ness tends to normally have. And I think that Jason is mostly struggle, struggling, finding, you know, a lot of his tools to get in and whatnot. Very nice Magna Cancel back air right there. Sending him right back off stage. And gonna get that second stock with that up smash right there. And only at 100%. But you gotta no, be careful that, when swinging at Ness when he's coming off the stage. When you're coming off the ledge like that, yeah, Ness does tend to swing a lot, for sure. Very nice, not using his jump right there, Jason. Um, sending or getting back to the stage pretty well. Oh, ooh, with a nice combo too. Gotta love those up these other shields. Oh, oh, oh. It's definitely looking like up the out of shield is a pretty good tool for Byleth, even though Ness has a lot of safe aerials, I feel like. Oh! Okay. What a good wait. Air dodge? No air dodge. I mean, yes, air dodge. No air dodge. Punish. Air dodge? No air dodge. Here comes, TK. What are you doing when you're a tether recovery? Oh, yo yo? Yo yo. Ooh. I can't that believe that nice. made contact. That was actually at least four or five times that we've seen Jason do a normal get or not even a normal get up just a regular option while getting off of ledge and that's probably why they've ended or had their stocks ended a few times at least two out of the three stocks that they've had that yo-yo is a real killer when you're trying to get off the ledge mm -hmm. active frames and kills that's that's exactly what you want yeah and that was very good on mustard's part by just waiting not really tending to go for much there yo yo let's go yo yo Oh, that move is a two, sin. One, it is, I, it, it, and it, I love it, but no, I hate it. You, John, this is not this is not healthy. It's not healthy. Oh, ha that miss? You saw that? I did. That's crazy. I'm very surprised. Oh. Now I think the. Uh, oh my God! What a snipe! Man, there it is. Another up smash. Didn't kill. I'm surprised. But now he's. All right, what's the ledge trap here? Not a yo-yo. It's a yo-yo. Never mind. How many yo-yos are you going to have? It's just yo-yos. Yo-yos on top of yo-yos on top of yo-yos. My look is somewhat lacking in reversal options, so the yo-yo isn't like the worst choice here. Yeah, they haven't really been getting off of the ledge too safely. So a lot of the time... Oh, that's what trying to go for it all. That's crazy. But that's that's wild. You. Oh. Read the air dodge in, but it turned into attack, unfortunately. Air dodge! Yo yo, there it is. It finally gets away from the clutches of the yo yo. The, let me tell you about that yo yo. The yo yo is a demon. Oh, where is he? No! Okay. That's a very slow startup on that getup attack. That's crazy. Yeah, Violet seems to have a pretty slow one. It's oh. very sad because Violet is a very slow character overall. Yo yo? No yo yo. Uh oh. No, never mind. Oh no. No yo-yo required. That was that was a little sad. 
very unfortunate SD oh. right there. Oh, oh. Forward throw. But we are in a very good position for Mustard. This has been a very consistent position for Mustard. Like, just the entire set overall. Just good a very nice three stock lead. Alright, hold it out, hold it out. And it hits him. Right? <laughs> sad. That's a very sad moment right there. That was OD. Oh boy, Ness. Well, let's look at some kills. Let's go. I'm pretty sure a lot of these kills are going to be from Up Smash. How many yo-yos resulted in this man's death? How many yo-yos does it take to get to the center of a Byleth? This is this is the real question that we need. I still count this as a yo-yo kill. But yo-yo was on the screen when he died. <laughs> they they SD. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it hit anyway. That is very cringe. I think the biggest crux of that matchup, even though the match is now over, is mm -hmm. that Byleth likes to jump a lot, and Ness really just rips apart any character that's jumping excessively. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're jumping PK fires in forward airs for days. you got to stay on the ground, son. I also feel like that was a little bit of lackluster like, information on Jason's part, because a lot of the time, like we already know that Byleth has a lot of good like approach options, I feel like. They have um, that side B, Arid Bar, um, it has a really good, you know, like, um, what is it called? Range? Tip perfect. Oh. Uh, not just range, because the range is good, and it actually covers, like, a very good, like, area, especially when you're playing neutral. But the fact that it has a tipper, on the end, of course, it actually has, the tipper effect has really good, um, shield stun. So if you ever get hit by that, you'll have a lot of shield stun on that. If you, if you're a little bit closer within the hilt of the, um, actual lance, then you won't really get that much shields done but that's just some really cool information to note about that but yeah i feel like it was just a little bit of um a misinformation on jason's part because i feel like um the way they were choosing to approach neutral was a little bit weird and they just had a very hard time getting off of ledge which is very understandable against ness but just a little bit of a better option select there could have been used